And first at 10 right now, sirens, a crash, and a stolen car all unfolding moments before rush hour traffic in Jefferson Parish. Tonight, we're learning new details about that high-speed chase through the West Bank that got a gun off the street and one man was arrested. And now we have video of that chaotic moment. WDSU reporter Jonah Gilmore live at 10 at the Jefferson Parish Jail. Joni spoke to a family who says the <coughs> emboldened suspect ran through their yard. Yeah, Gina Sulla, the family that lives in at home, tell me that the wife had just arrived home. They say she's thankful that she was in her driveway because of that chase was just feet away from her vehicle. I didn't exactly know what was going on. The sounds of these sirens are not something Nick and Michelle Keys are used to hearing in their neighborhood. I've seen it on like the expressway and stuff where people go flying like crazy, but not down my street. This video from their home surveillance camera shows Jefferson Parish deputies speeding down their street. I saw them coming from that direction um, and like flying this way. And then all of a sudden I heard like screeching. In seconds, you see a dark color sports car racing across their lawn. I came outside because she came home and she's like, pull the video and I'm just like, oh my God, that really happened. The Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office says deputies attempted to stop the vehicle that was wanted in connection with an ongoing investigation. When they attempted to make the stop, the driver took off. And I was really just kind of like, WTF and just kind of like sat there for a minute and was just kind of like, well, that just happened. According to JPSO, the driver crashed the vehicle along the West Bank Expressway, then ran away. They, they were determined. JPSO says a gun was found inside the vehicle and the man was eventually caught. For the Keys family, they're thankful no one was hurt. This is a school drop off zone. We get two, three school buses every day coming through here. Now, along with being a part of an ongoing investigation, the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office tells WDSU that vehicle was also stolen. We're told that man is facing multiple charges. Now, WDSU did reach out to the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office to find out the identity of that man. We're told that information was not available tonight. We're live outside the Jefferson Parish Correctional Center. Jonah Gilmore, WDSU News.